for something a little trippy. The alien jar. <laughs> mason jar. I know this is not really a mason jar. This is an applesauce jar, reskinned as kind of mason jar like. <laughs> but uh, I always wanted to see somebody do this trigger with light gloves. And somehow I've never seen it happen. And somehow I never did it myself until now. Or maybe I didn't, just don't remember. <laughs> it's very possible. I've been in this game for a long time. But I call this trigger the alien jar sometimes because the first time I've seen it happen, I thought it sounds very extraterrestrial to me. Also kind of sounds like that trick that Cameron and Ferris Bueller's Day Off did. You know, the whoonk. Can't really do that with these gloves. But <laughs> it's kind of like that. James Bond 235, if you're watching, I'm going to request this trigger next time I see your streams. <laughs> I know he has light gloves and does mason jar. So why not both at once?
recently. For me, I've been replaying Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain a bit, going through the secondary objectives of the main missions that I missed. I've completed all the missions, but not completed, completed, if you catch my drift. I just completed all the required objectives and all the side quests. But there are a lot of objectives, secondary objectives, within those main missions that I did not complete. So my overall completion of the game right now, as of the time of recording this, is 72%, which is not bad. But still got a little ways to go. It's a big game. I'm really looking forward to Metal Gear Solid Delta, the remake of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Even David Hayter absolutely loved it and endorsed it. I say even because he was previously burned from the role as Snake in favor of having a different actor to voice him in Metal Gear Solid V, Ground Zeroes, and Phantom Pain. No knock to Kiefer Sutherland. I think he did a pretty decent job, but it's just not the same. It's just he sounded like a different person, and that different voice does work for the type of hero that Snake is. But it's just not Snake. Does that make sense? It's not the kind of Snake voice that I know. Konami, you should have reached out to me to audition.
this is a new trigger to you, but not to me. Let me explain. At my last full-time job, we were doing some remodeling in the office and then included new carpets. And they had a bunch of these carpet samples. And when they finally decided which one to go with, they were just gonna toss them or whatever. And I asked if I could take it home. And uh, they're like, yes. Because they knew I was gonna start a new channel. And they were really excited about seeing these in action. For some reason, I never actually used them. I've moved four times. Four times. No, three times. I moved three times since then. And now, this is finally in a video. Why I haven't used these in a video until now is beyond me. But I figured it was time. And what better time to use it than in this video? pretty little light gloves reflecting on the sample carpet swatch. Even has that little scritchy scratchy texture on the back as one would expect. RGB lighting. Very suitable for this kind of video. It's kind of hard to see with that thin little line of the lighting when uh, kind of blending in with the light gloves in the background. But you could kind of see it, right? I could see it through the viewfinder, so. I'm sure you can.
like that. I, I, don't judge me. <laughs> Slinky. It's like that old SNL skit. Rob Schneider going, making cuppies, making slinkies. Welcome to my brain.
decided to keep it for his mark because I thought it was just great for his mark. And look at how the light just shines on it like that. Colorful light on black just looks so cool to me. And I hope it looks cool to you because I'm making this for y'all, not for me. Even though I'm enjoying the hell out of this. <laughs> sounds with or without these gloves. I did a short tapping on this a while back. And that was without the gloves. This time it's with them. I fidgeted with Rubik's Cube, so 
slid out, twisting them before. But I never thought to put them to my ears and listen to this sound. like ghost hand puppets. Colorful paper with colorful lights under it. Good for Halloween. We're only a few months away from that. video with squishy balls recently <laughs> but bring him back for this video because why not full squishy balls video. Check the card right here. That's that video I just mentioned. In case that wasn't obvious. It probably was. Oh well. as always.
always, stay chill and have a good night.